how to make an amazing Juice World style song. No long intro, let's get started. Drums. So for our drums, we are absolutely staying with trap drums in this realm. They're gonna be pretty impactful, quick, and smooth. You won't find a ton of ambience on the drums unless done in a specific section or with an automation, but with some samples I used from Slate Digital and Kyle Beats, we get this. In case you are wondering, pitching around the hi-hat is something that I automate inside a pitch shift plugin here, but you can also do it automating the sample directly in the drum sampler. Groove. In this blended trap world, the downbeat or one beat is always pretty strong and prominent, and we're typically not having too many eighth note subdivisions driving the song. That's a bit of drum jargon, but that just means if this is our groove, I want this downbeat to always be there as a foundation. But if we place other kick drums on the eighth notes, it sounds more like a rock groove and a bit rigid to me. So I wanted to hit the areas in between my 16th notes and we get a much more modern sounding beat. And there's the final pattern I settled on for the song. For bass, you can also assume the same umbrella of trap, but within that, you're probably not gonna want the fartiest or dirtiest 808s, but it's gonna be deep, clear, and have decay, which means instead of a waveform like this, it's like this. Despite being a bass heavy artist, Juice's 808s don't ever feel overwhelming or congesting. So that decay allows us to have impact, but space at the same time. We kept the kick pattern in mind as the foundation of rhythm as a safe, reliable starting point, following the roots of the chords. With that, here's two easy solutions to make a more exciting bass line. One, move the shorter notes up or down a fifth or octave to add dynamics without losing harmonic impact. Two, add a pickup note or two just become an upcoming chord to lead our ear to the change. Central harmonic theme. A common thing to do in hip hop and trap is to take a central sample or idea and modify it in various ways to create the dynamics across the song while leaving it mostly untouched in a sense. Juice doesn't always follow this to a T, but it is extremely common in his works. So to follow in that vein, I asked Samurai Guitars to come up with some creative guitar ideas and I took this loop out. Now, with this loop, I can manipulate it to create excitement and intrigue throughout the song without modifying the loop itself or needing new parts. Here's a few things that I did. And that's all with the same two bar loop. By picking and choosing which version or blend I want at a given time, I can create an entire song of dynamics within these variations. Chords. Juice World stories and lyrics are never fully at rest and typically have this kind of very floating and buttery quality. Since he's often time centering his melodies in the pentatonic scale, this allows us more flexibility with chord choices since these notes can easily be agreeable over many chords in our scale. I personally wanted to pick something that was unstable but at rest, which is a bit of a contradiction, but in the key of B flat major, that was our E flat chord or the four chord. And we know that some of the most fluid chord choices in pop would be to use the five, the six, the one chord. But again, I don't think Juice World style tracks should ever really fully be at rest. So I chose these. Now to spice that up, it is a bit bland. We added some extensions and additional elements to the chords to add a little bit more edge. Our options are most commonly adding a two or seven, or if you're on a minor chord, a four. So now we have this. Now that is a juice vibe. Arrangement. In the spirit of modeling juice, this song was so directly pulled and inspired by Righteous that I wanted the arrangement to as well. This is also a great starting point for people if you're unsure about how to structure your track, just use what somebody else made as a structure and start there. Tons of trap pop style songs are starting with the hook now, doing two verses and then ending with a third hook. So we still get the hook three times, but it's a more concise story. Here's the format that we have. Four bar intro, eight bar chorus, eight bar verse, four bar pre, 8-bar chorus, 8-bar verse, 4-bar pre, 
eight bar chorus and a four bar outro. Lyrics. Even if you're partially into Juice World, you're gonna know that most of his lyrics are dark and emotional, but they're delivered in a way where you forget how dark it is. This is often referred to as sad boy music with a lot of intrinsically created music around mental health struggles, drug abuse, heartbreak, and loneliness. So I wanted to go somewhere personal for myself and things that I've dealt with. I'm This song is all about these moments and periods of my life where I really started to lose myself in my own internal struggles with my self-worth and self-image. It was pretty internally destructive. Not only that, but it would erode and break relationships around me, both personal and romantic. Afraid of what comes next, obsessed and suppressed. I guess. Lastly, I brought Savannah Kovacs on board to really push the storytelling forward in verse two, which is a big part of Juice Style stories. There's no verse that exists to just fill space. And this reflection from the second perspective was a concept that I pulled from Life's a Mess by Juice World featuring Halsey. But I got up the first. No, I'm what we Melody. We have three things to hit here, so let's go. First, melodic crossover choices. Juice World is almost always diatonic, meaning that he's probably set in one key, and his melodic choices are really almost pop punk or emo rock feeling, but his vocal tone, delivery, and instrumentation keeps it from feeling like a rock song. Listen to this hook with the current production. No company, no misery, just don't check my mental health grade. And now listen to it over power chord guitar. It makes a ton of sense. And this heavy rock influence is all over his melodic choices. Number two, similar notes, different delivery. And on top of that, he's not always rigidly following the verse small, chorus big with the verse notes down here and the chorus notes. Was that too loud? That huge dynamic is so common in a lot of modern pop music, but Juice doesn't tend to go that grandiose in that sense, but often relies on delivery and vocal tone changes like head voice, chest voice, grit to keep things incredibly dynamic and exciting. So like you'll do often in my song, I may be sitting in a similar range of notes. But the performance makes it stand out and feel completely different from the next section. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. I wasn't really asking for the jealousy and pressure. Verse variation. More than just Juice's songs, nobody ever likes identical melody across two verses. It's cumbersome, lazy, and no. So when looking at Savannah's melodic material, we made sure to keep it really similar to what we did before, but not perfect, to allow her to deviate and subvert the expectations from what you think is coming. I'm awesome, but I should have shown you nice. One more line, I'm fine this time. I'm dripping, I can't feel my jaw. You got that filter on in real life. You found that rabbit hole. Hope you make it out alive. Oh, subscribe to me. I'm breathing toxicity. Look and see, I'm coming free. Put you on me, but I have to fall. Life, but carefully. Lead vocal mix. The flavor of a lead like this has got to be bright and crispy, super clean, and tightly tuned. And to get this, I use some of my favorite tools, including Antares Auto Tune, Slate Digital's All Access Bundle, which is all over the place, and specifically the Fresh Air plugin to get that high end crisp without being harsh. Here's a quick overview of both of our vocal chains for myself and Savannah. Wishing you the best. Hide and pain and bury regret. Afraid of what comes next, obsess and suppress. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. No company, no misery. Just don't check my mental health. Grade. But I gotta put me first. No, I'm grieving what we were. Vocal layers. There's a surprising lack of double vocals across Juice's catalog. 
because he is such a beast on the mic with his power, his presence, and his energy that it really fills the space. As a vocal production nerd, I want to honor that creativity, but I have to add a small bit of my flavor. So we created a nice watery, beautiful wet pad out of four vocal parts doubled and panned out. Take a listen. <sighs> As far as layering over me, I left that mostly to Savannah the same way that Halsey did over Juice in Life's a Mess, so we get really cool moments like this. So I'm falling on anxiety, swapping my reality away. The special sauce. Bringing all this together, it really came down to these subtle yet powerful changes to bring the dynamics up and down while holding the central vibe. We added and removed parts of the arrangement. Modified sounds like our central theme to add a bigger sense of overall dynamic. And removed a moment or two of a couple elements to add intrigue. We never lose that central and universal motif across the listening experience, giving us a smooth, impactful, and dynamic Juice World style song. Let's put it all together and stick around because we have plenty more to say on the other side. Here's a piece of this Juice World style track, I'm Vibing on Anxiety. How would you like me to fly you to Los Angeles, spend three days in a studio with you and produce a song from scratch for free? That is a giveaway I will be doing starting in a week from today, but you have to be in the Facebook group below to get the earliest information on how to submit and how to enter the giveaway. Also, we'll be doing a two hour live stream breaking down the song you just heard in full in excruciating detail with open and interactive Q and A. So go to that Facebook group join the community and I can't wait to see you there. You could be the person that I pay to fly out here and then we spend three days together in a studio making a song from scratch. Hope to see you there in the Facebook group. Until next time, thank you for your time today. I do appreciate it. Now get out there, work hard, and remember, kindness wins.